Hi, hello, it's me, Sue Coco. How are ya? I hope you're doing well. Most of us have two lives. The life we live and the unlived life within us. Late at night, have you experienced a vision of the person you might become? The work you could accomplish? The realized being you want to be? If you're watching this, you're most likely an artist who doesn't draw. But why is that? Because it's not the drawing that's the hard part. It's the sitting down to draw. And every time I sat down to draw, the negative self-talk kicked in. It's so ugly. You've been making art for years and this is the best you can do? Quit. This is all such a waste of time. I had stacks of unused sketchbooks and expensive art supplies gathering dust. I was going to use them one day to make masterpieces when I was a great artist. But how was I ever going to become a great artist if I never made any art? It would be weeks or months between drawings, and even then I had to feel inspired or motivated before I made anything. It's so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. Too often, we convince ourselves that massive success requires massive action. We put pressure on ourselves to make some earth-shattering improvement that everyone will talk about. I wanted to create, but I was afraid to take myself seriously in order to move from the realm of shadow into the light of creativity, I had to learn to take myself seriously. With gentle, deliberate effort, I had to nurture my artistic child. My fear of my own creativity was the fear of the unknown, the fear I wasn't good enough or that my ideas sucked or I'd never reach where I want to be. I realized my negative beliefs were exactly that, Beliefs, not facts. The world was never flat, although everyone believed it was. You're not dumb, crazy, egomaniacal, grandiose, or silly just because you falsely believe yourself to be. What you are is scared. Fear can never be overcome. There is no such thing as a fearless warrior or a dread-free artist. What Henry Ford does after puking into the toilet in his dressing room is to clean up and march out on stage. He's still terrified, but he forces himself forward in spite of his terror. He knows once he gets out into the action, his fear will recede and he will be okay. I had to take a new approach to my art. Rather than focusing on making a masterpiece, I started focusing on the process allowing myself to make mistakes. And with every mistake, I learned more about the art I was making and myself. Every time the negative voice showed up, I answered it with kind words about myself and my creative journey. If it said, you're not good enough, I would respond, I'm learning. It's all about progress over perfection, and that quickly shut up that know-nothing idiot voice. I implore you, to try the same. Protect your artistic child and focus on the joy of creating over perfection. You'll see the difference in your art. I'm so much bolder and I take way more risks now. Not to mention, I genuinely enjoy the process. And after I complete each piece, I am so much more inspired to make the next one. I'm Sue Coco and I'm sharing my artist journey here on my YouTube channel. I make art with a bunch of different mediums and talk about art and self-healing as well as share tips and tricks I learn along the way. If you like what you see and want more, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post something new and I post to the channel every single week. I hope you have a great day and remember, progress, not perfection. Until next time, bye!